They used to call space the final frontier. Now it's more like a trash heap. The second we strapped a nuke drive on a hunk of metal, we spread our seed all across the cosmos and slammed into a new reality. Turns out, there is intelligent life out there. Most of it vampiric. Every variety of soulless intergalactic cockroach imaginable. Forget your mythology, the sunlight, the crosses, holy water. That's for kids in comic books. Out here, we're the first on the ground against the blood-sucking breed. V-San. Vampire sanitation. Some say it's the toughest job you'll ever hate. I call it a living. And as long as there's fang heads out there, my job's a lock. <laughs> Humans, fear not. Lay down your weapons. Disengage your air defense. We mean you no harm. We, the Voris, are a peaceful nation. A vampiric anomaly. Decidedly different in appearance, yet very similar in methodology. Welcome us into your homes so that we may become brothers. For that is what we can do for you. Let us all live in peace. Clear. The mess they made of these bastards. Old-fashioned vampires, you know, they just want to suck up blood. Got plenty of those out here, too. But if it's any consolation, after a while, you do get used to it. Well, that's a good thing.
God. They got her. Why? There's a CO here. Or he's son of a bitch who did this to send me a message. You know who did this? Here we go. It's industry. Rosa, that's RV back in the Ronimus. Quintana, you five by five? I'm here. Update. There are Voorhees in the neighborhood. The ideas? I don't think your little trigger finger gave us away. Someday I'm gonna smoke that bitch. Somebody needs to get laid. Rosa, you copy? Uh, yes, sir, I did. All right, let's RV. Everybody watch your backs. Yeah, man, we're gonna cut this guy down. He's IPC, an officer, battlefield protocol. Protocol? What good is protocol gonna do him? He's dead. It's a lovely setting at all. But out here, send will get you killed. All indications are that the four heat group is possible. It's in country in the immediate vicinity. The exact ID is impossible with that hard contact. It is known that the Borhi have been operating in the squadron. We will inform as to our progress and as to the nature of the operation once we have made said contact. You and this Borhi, same's flag. I mean, he's acquaintance at the Battle of Sri Lanka during the last Vampire Wars. My platoon and his mixed it up pretty good. We ended up being the only survivors. For a while there, but I got the upper hand on me. Why did he kill you? I don't know. Probably having too much fun torturing me. You know, what the hell? He gave me time so I could turn the tables on him. Why did you kill him? I hesitated. Remember what I told you about sentiment? Same thing applies to hesitation. How far away are they, Quintana? A click or two, I estimate four in the party. Found blood trails heading into the jungle, too. Took survivors with them. Commanding officer back there was gutted alive. His leg. I didn't know you were a mind reader. That's where you read my mind. Yeah, Flag, this definitely has his pawn to it. <laughs> That's funny. Vampires saying another vampire stinks. You're a riot. Do you see me laughing? Hey, there are people out here we should be saving. You got a lot to learn about vamps. Or he's took them in the woods to feed. Rescue's now a past tense. This is a cleanup. What is it about human flesh that makes it so tasty out of doors? Come closer and I'll let you know. Ooh, ooga booga. Ladies, on, baby. let's put it away. Rosa, you're on knockdown. Everyone else, make sure you got your short lances ready. Let's do it. Couldn't we just shoot him? Homeboy don't want to chip a nail. Not all vampires are created equal. What kills one is useless on another. Only way to kill a Voorhees is to shoot him in the heart. If you do that, you gotta pierce the bone casing that surrounds her chest cavity. Right, the book said there's no point in winging them because they heal too fast. Field-tested mythology on Voorhees is to knock them, sock them, bring them to the ground, and spike them. You relate our situation to corporate? Done. Good. Let's go play in the woods. Off to Grandma's house we go. These days, it's dark and everything so the battle takes place in a safe distance. Mechanized weapons. We're the only ones who get dirty. That's the way it goes. When you get paid to be the poor jerks who stick their head around the corner first. Yeah, well, I can't say you didn't warn me. Neutron bombs, surgical strikes, they're good for some things. But when you really need to know what's doing on the ground. You're a decorated soldier. You don't need to be doing this. No. No, I don't. So why are you then? I mean, hunting vampires for the v Corps, that's the worst stinking job in the entire galaxy. Has it ever occurred to you 
that some people just plain like it. No see, buddy. Remember me? <laughs> they said Voorhees were horrific looking, intimidating. Show me the infrared scanner. <sighs> Smile for the camera. <sighs> see, Damien? Beauty's only skin deep in that right flag. Cut me some slack, Nikki. Huh? I'll make it worth your while. You want money? I get it for you. Or platinum. I know Big Stash belongs to the Leather Faces. <laughs> Platinum, huh? Yeah. How much are we talking? Kilos. Mega kilos. What are the Leather Faces doing with it? <laughs> That's why I love you, Nikki. Only line. Bottom line with you, eh? <laughs> 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 
Oh. Oh. Enough of the foreplay. Where's the stash? Chat till the ten. Leatherfaces, not guarding it. You take it. Bava style. Oh. How do I know you're not lying? Oh. On my sweet mother's life. May she rest in peace. It is true. Well, as I recall, Fleg, you killed your sweet mom. Screw you! Thought maybe you fell asleep. I miss your home cooking. Feel it often. Temperature, caution, feeling baby hot. Here you go. Sorry? It's okay. No matter how long you stare at it, it still tastes like crap. They didn't teach you about days like this in the academy, did they? No, they didn't. You know, all things considered, you didn't do badly. Is it always that? Cold. No. We just got lucky. You know what I liked? The look in Flake's eyes just before Churchill smoked him. <laughs> He's all like, oh, Nikki, no, please, I have family. Boom! Oh, hardcore juicy. <laughs> Do we have to talk about it? When did you get so sensitive? You are not going to drink that here. As much fun as your company is, I'd rather enjoy my plasma in peace. She's spooky. Just to put that on the counter. Captain. I appreciate everything you've done. Bringing me on board, giving me a shot. But the truth is, I don't think I'm cut out for this. First stop is always hard, I told you it would be. I don't see it getting any easier. Meaning? I'll have to find another way. I stink at hunting vampires. Of course you do. It was your first time. Not to mention that, that attitude you got slung over your shoulder. All the more reason for me to move on. And do what? Become a desk jockey? Command some tanker crew? You know damn well it's not going to get you anywhere. And besides, those companies wouldn't touch you anyway. What happened? on the meconium was not my fault. It wasn't there, Damien. I don't know. But you had your day in court, and you're now officially damaged goods. That's not how I feel, because I hired you, didn't I? But still, you need to change people's minds about you. And the fastest way there is by getting your hands dirtied and your hide toughened. And you show good, solid command capabilities in an environment like this, they're going to rethink busting you. Although why you'd want to go back there is beyond me. Because I like it. Look, if I have to, I'll put in for a transfer. Transfer? A transfer requires your commanding officer's signature. And the way I see it, your pain is my gain. I got me a top-rate officer, highly skilled, smart, Way too loyal for his own good, and I got you cheap. And I'm betting with a little time and experience, you're going to be a top-shelf asset to both me and my crew. So you go ahead, you plan your little escape. But until I tell you otherwise, your butt is mine.
Roman Kaczynski is seeking access. Your instincts brought you here, and those instincts were good. Access granted. Captain? Yep. We've picked up a distress call. My name is Fiona Kennedy. I'm a scientist here at the Cobalt Processing Facility in Basra 14. We are under attack by vampires. I don't know how many of us are left. I've locked myself in the transmission room. Please, please, if anyone gets this, please hurry. My name is Fiona Kennedy. I'm if we swing shot of this orbit, right? we can be there in a couple hours. Shouldn't we contact the company first? We don't even know what kind of vampire force is attacking them. It could be rogues, a regiment. I mean, the five of us can only generate so much firepower. Let me tell you a little something about the company, Damien. We get paid, and the company gets paid. The company gets paid, and we go into battle. You bet. What do you think their answer's gonna be? Understood, but if I'm gonna be an asset to you and this crew, then my knowledge of battle... That will all come in very handy once you understand the rules. If we delay, there won't be anybody left to save. Part of our job is to walk into the situation, then figure out a response. But I promise you, if we find ourselves in the middle of something fierce, we'll get us the hell out of there, okay? Go tell the others. Yes, sir. Starboard thrusters, 3%. And release. Four retro, 5% for eight seconds. Got the touch, kid. Good job. Until we know what we're dealing with, let's keep our options open, boys and girls. Let's hit the ground, automatics and close combat weapons ready. Take these off, gear up, get hot. Is everyone with me? Five, five, five! Access bay door open. out in here. They locked the door and prayed like hell they didn't find me. Is anyone else alive? There was one SOS from the mine and then nothing. See anything? Oh yeah. They're leather faces. Vault is Corium. What's a book on them? Well... The good news? They're stupid and relatively primitive. A lot easier to whack than Voorhees. They don't have the internal bone casing or the ability to heal. They're bleeders. You shoot them, they die. So what's the bad news? They travel in packs. Big packs. See why I couldn't just stay in the con center. Believe me, this is where you want to be. Down here? With us. They're close. Any idea where this tunnel goes? HUD map indicates a structure, 100 meters. Uh, that's right, a way station. I had equipment, food supplies, a communications port, too. Potential origin of the SOS. All right, let's move. Quintana, watch your backs. Consider them watched. That's comforting. Primitive. 
What are we gonna do? Like my old football coach used to say, the best defense is a kick-ass offense. Go! recommended that the mining colony at Bazar 14 be handed over to Star Command for alternative strategy. At present, no other assignments have been logged into the Hieronymus Master Control, so we will remain in this quadrant until contacted by Company HQ. This is Damien Underwood, Captain Pro Tem of the Hieronymus. Notified corporate about what happened. We should hear back shortly. In the meantime, I think it's important to talk about... What? The fact that you just left them there? It's basic. Vampire hunters do not leave another vampire hunter behind. Any attempt to save Captain Churchill would have compromised the rest of the team. You were already compromised when you trashed the security system. Blowing the security system was Captain Churchill's idea. Is that something you learned at the Academy? When all else fails, blame the dead guy. No wonder they court-martialed you. Everybody you ever work with ends up getting killed. So we ditched this jerk before the same thing happens to us. Like it or not, I am now the captain of this ship. You are the guy temporarily in charge, not the captain. Why don't you give him a chance? Why don't you shut up, bloodsucker? Say that one more time and I'll... What? 
Suck my blood? You two have been angling for me since we started this sortie. I say, come and get it. And I say, kiss my ass, but you probably bite it instead. You bangheads are all alike. Admit it, you set us up. All right, everyone sit down, right now. I said planet! You want to point fingers. You point them where they deserve. What happened to Captain Churchill was unfortunate, but everything about that operation was reckless. Don't you even try to pin this on the captain. If we had followed any one of the protocols of engagement, none of this damn conversation... Ah, this guy doesn't know anything. There's no way you can be in charge. Right. So you take your protocols and shove them. What the hell did you expect us to do? Risk everything and everyone just to bring a body back? Yeah, those were leather faces. They wear their kills as trophies. Captain Churchill didn't deserve to become a hood ornament. We should have done whatever it took. Then again, you didn't want to be there in the first place. So running came easy. I've had just about enough of both of you. We had enough of you the first day you came aboard. You want to be the captain? Fine! Just be it somewhere else. seem like he was a very good man. Uh, there's a transit station a couple days from here. From there, you can probably hitch a ride wherever you want to go. Thanks, I appreciate it. What was it you said you did on Basra? Soils analysis. So when the vampires first arrived, you weren't actually in the control center. I was in the lab module. Why? Something I noticed when I was in the con center. The electronic defense system was turned off. I'm trying to establish when exactly that happened. Like I said, I wasn't there. We heard something was going on and we rushed back. We? Some of the other scientists and me. Paul Javain. Nate McKinnon. They were such good people. I'm sorry. Damien Underwood. Just, uh, wanted to see if you were okay. What I mean is... You wanted to thank me for standing up for you. I read minds. Normally, I'd ask. Uh, no, that's okay. Uh, just uh, something I have to keep in mind about you. 
that I read minds, you mean? Right. Do you mind if I... Uh, no. No, go right ahead. After what happened, it's amazing you still have an appetite. Oh. If I don't feed, the hunger gets harder to control. I just wanted to let you know that from here on, I'm not going to tolerate them baiting you like that. If this were a Star Command ship, you I... You court-martial them, except it's not Star Command, so you can't. I hope you don't mind me asking, but how does a guy like you end up doing something like this? A question arose between my commanding officer and me as to who was telling the truth. What was the question about? Who was responsible for killing the rest of the crew? Travel safe. Where are the others? Up front. We've all had our fill. I think we should head back to the ship. We won't be joining you. Roman, know where Mertzaport is? What exactly does that mean? It means we won't be joining you. Me and Roman put in for transfer, so until the company tells us where we need to be, we're gonna do a little sightseeing. Hoffman, my, my buddy Hollander runs a bar there. It's called Pop Rock. <laughs> Can't do this, we're a crew. Yeah, right. What time's that supply wagon out of here, Roman? That's uh, out of here in about 10 minutes, so we better bust some out. Later. Just my opinion, Captain. Good point. They're not going anywhere. Your personal information file is currently unavailable. Please try back another time. What the hell does that mean? Here, let me have a look at that. Your personal information file is currently unavailable. Please try back another five time. minutes that way, you'll leave without us. Well, I don't know what else. You know, not... Is a problem here? Uh, yeah, your stupid scanner isn't working. Let me see your identification cards, please. System says you no longer work for the VSAN Corporation. Which means you ain't nobody. And being nobody, you ain't going nowhere. I must suck being nobody. What is your problem? Me? Well, I don't have a problem, whereas you two. It's all right, Officer Brackish. I can vouch for him. Provided they uh, behave themselves. No party. You didn't have the decency to ask me for a transfer. What would have been the point? You just said no. You're right. I would have, because in spite of all the fun we're not having, being captain, I have responsibility. Oh, Spare us the regimental ball. And one of those responsibilities is you. So get used to it. You want me to be an a-hole? That was how to be a Starfleet Captain 101 at the Academy, and I finished top of my class. Yeah, we believe you. Especially the a-hole part. Why are you so determined to hold on to us? You afraid it'll get out that you're such a loser you couldn't even captain a V-Sand crate? Whatever you know about me is whatever you think you know about my past. And maybe that my skills as a vampire hunter are somewhat underdeveloped. 
Oh, you forgot the part about killing a guy we all liked. Let's just put a pin in that one. For the moment, let's just say that everything else is true. I need you, you need me, makes it simple. You two behave yourselves, and I promise my e-signature will appear next to your name on a transfer request. How long do we have to behave ourselves? Until I sign. That could take forever. For all we know, you could just be jerking us around. Okay, then. One mission. Really? One? That's all. However, I reserve the right to add time and missions if I'm not completely satisfied. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. Yeah, I can do that. Good. Then as of now, I expect normal crew protocol to be followed to the letter. Oh, come on, and spare me the attitude, all right? Same goes for you, because every time I see it, there's another day I withhold my signature. Ditto every time I see a signature to Quintana. If so much as an unkind thought passes between you, that's another day. So, are we a crew? Yes, sir. You're the captain. What I said about sticking it to each other cuts both ways. Understood, sir. Good. Quintana, notify the security office back at the transit station. We will not be returning. All is well. Yes, sir. Now, while we're waiting for the company to tell us what our next assignment is, I'd like a complete assessment of our system status. Areas of concern, ship maintenance, and weapons. As far as I'm aware, the logs are way behind on each. Yes, sir. With all due respect, sir, you cannot captain a V-Sand ship like a command vessel. There's a reason people like us chose to be here instead of there. Just trying to be helpful, sir. Captain, you're needed on the bridge immediately. When I tried to send your message to the transit station, this is what I got back. This is an urgent SOS from transit station Delta Hotel Foxtrot. We're under attack! Send help! Someone disarm electronic defense system. Isn't that what happened in the mining colony at Basra? We know who did this yet, Quintana? Could be one of several vampire species. But the energy signatures they're leaving behind are unfamiliar. Thought you knew every vampire species there was. Every known vampire species. It's hard to know about something no one's ever encountered. Can you tell anything? This vampiric life form? They're venomous. The venom contains a toxin that's incredibly lethal. Is it the toxin that smells so bad? No, the toxin's odorless. It's the flesh that stinks. The venom causes instantaneous necrotization of the skin and muscle fibers. These creatures, they don't feed on live beings. They like him dead, but still warm. Charming. Let's go find him. Found
some guy killed all these people? What the hell is that thing? No idea. He looks like Paraclad. Let's just waste them. Come on! That was a rush! Do you sense any of the vampire presence here? It's really bizarre. Yes, I do sense vampiric presence, and yet... Everybody stay back. Nosferati. That's what threw me. That creature we killed? He wasn't the vampire. He was the host. The Nosferati travel in him, then emerge when it's time to feed. Oh, and the host can't host him anymore. But let this one live. What? I want to know more about it. It's a vampire. What more do you need to know? I never will set your weapons to stun. It's surprising, the dialect it speaks. I know it. What a surprise. What? It's surprising, don't you think? Transit station. Vino Croissant. Transit station. Vino Croissant. Va! I asked him, how did his host creature get here to the transit station? All he'll say is betrayal. Betrayal? Inzana wiki krovka. Avesakorun yishta. Human askif. Ana koritse ikumbawa. He says if we didn't need you for food, we'd wipe you out. To most of the universe, you're arrogant, emotional scum. The only thing better than feeding on you is watching the look in your eyes when you die. <laughs> Slytherin piece of crap. Ah! It's over, Roman. You can't kill us twice. Can't be dead enough as far as I'm concerned. What were you thinking? He was talking to us. He was mouthing off. We didn't need to hear any more of that crap. He was right about one thing about being Eric. Oh, you agree with him. Maybe you wanted to keep him alive so the two of you could turn on us. Emotional scum. Is that you talking to the worm? Don't you think it's emotional? Killing something because it hurt your feelings? Oh, I'm gonna do a lot more than hurt your feelings, honey. Right, that's enough. You stop! Come on, take your shot. The creme de la creme of creation. Every time I think about how we are, what we are, I want to scream. Does the rest of the world really deserve us? We should beam this back to Earth so they can see both the horror and the stupidity of our pioneers. <laughs> That's human arrogance for you. 300 years ago, the white man moved across the North American continent. Manifest destiny, they called it. A moral imperative to, to rape the land and kill its native peoples because they were deemed to be savages. Has anything changed? 
Now we are told to hate the vampire, when really, the enemy is us. We are the savages. Earth still has a conscience, and it beats right here. We did well today. We struck another blow against unbridled Earth imperialism. We nurtured freedom toward human hegemony. Of course, another way of looking at it is she served up a couple of dozen happy meals to a bunch of vampires. Oh, I know you'd like us to think you're really that cynical, Muko. Uh, but deep down, I know you believe in what we're doing, that it's in everyone's interest that we contain human expansion in the universe. Oh, I definitely believe. But I'll believe a lot more when I get my hands on the human scum who killed my brother. Why do you care so much? You didn't even like Flynn. Him. I hated him. He was stupid, arrogant, he stank. But the point is, he was killed by a human being, and I'm obligated to avenge him. But you did that. You took care of their captain, the man responsible. <laughs> I'm surrounded by idiots. I want them all. This one. He's taking command of this ship. Are you sure he'll make his way to us? Damien Underwood. He's the exception here. He'll pick up the scent, there's no doubt about it. Uh. Captain! Captain, can I have a word? You got 30 seconds. The rest of the crew and me. We want to apologize. We let our emotions get the better of us, and uh, I'm sorry. Not half as sorry if I never sign your transfer request and you have to spend the rest of your pathetic lives here with me, right? Apology not accepted. That never even came up. Okay, maybe at first, but it was just a big misunderstanding. We were angry at Cortana. She was angry with us. Oh, why now you're not angry? Gosh, let's throw a party. I know we've all been hard on you, especially me. I just want to say, Captain Churchill chose you to be his first officer. So the fact that he chose you must mean that you're... All an the same, his death is still my fault, right? Look, you got to understand, calling Captain Churchill reckless, that hurt. We would have walked through hell for that guy. His dying hit us hard. Is any consolation? I think Captain Churchill knew exactly what he was doing. He was risking himself to save the rest of us. And though perhaps reckless is a poor choice of words, I'm starting to see that a little recklessness is a good thing out here. I know I can never be him in your eyes or the others, but if you just give me a little time, I promise I will be the best captain to you that I can. We gotta stick together, whether we like it or not, whether we like each other or not. Rosa. I want you to know that I take comfort having you on this fire team. You're not just a good soldier, you're a great one. I trust you with my life in a heartbeat. So the worm specifically used the word betrayal to describe how he got there. And the only other body we didn't find amongst the others... Fiona's. I mean, does it mean anything? Is it just coincidence that every place she goes ends up being vampire chow? I mean, did she know that the creature we killed was the vampire's host? For the moment, let's say yes. Let's say she did. She's the Trojan horse. Turning off the electronic defense system for whatever reason, okay? She does her dirty work. Then she finds a way to get out and get to her next victim. If that's the case, the last ship to leave the transit station before ours arrived was hers. 
Now all departing craft, as part of their computer protocol, leave behind a set of coordinates. Telling us where they're going. I should have thought of that. Veronimus, can you show me where those coordinates are leading to? I'm currently computing the Cosmosis One's projected flight path. Cosmosis? Isn't that one of those uh, groups? Who think humans deserve whatever they get, so long as they're being got by a vampire? So she's a wacko is what she is. The Cosmosis One's projected flight path will put them here. Way the hell over there. And they've got quite a head start on us. Let's break it down. The company just sent us a new assignment. It's a search and destroy mission in the Kenobia system. Anyone familiar with that? Yeah, I'm familiar with that. That's out there. So, either we go where the company wants us to go, or we throw the protocol aside for a little while and take a little detour, follow this trajectory to Fiona, knowing that if the company finds out what we're up to, which I'm sure they will, they'll probably fire every one of us. We owe it to Captain Churchill to run this bitch into the ground. You can count me in. Me too. Good. Then we all agree. We do this for the captain. There'll be no finger pointing later on. We're all in this together. In that case, even though we're in hyperdrive, it's still gonna take a while, so I suggest we all catch up on our rest. Good night. You know, I'm starting to like this guy. Yeah, he's got potential. Ronimus, let's set our course for those same coordinates. And he's in a hyperdrive. Destination coordinates set. The ship will achieve hyperdrive in eight minutes. Startle you, I hope. Oh, no. no. It's okay. Leave it. I like it. I'd, uh, I'd offer you some, but. Uh... I already ate. Thanks anyway. Tried human food when I was 11 on a dare. I was sick for a week. <laughs> what exactly do you want to know? I guess I'm just wondering what it would be like to be you. Your parents were vampires, right? They were scientists. Most everyone in the colony was either drained or executed. The vampires who captured my parents recognized that they could be useful, so they turned them. Luckily for them and me, they escaped. So, when your parents got together, that was before anyone knew about the genetic consequences of two vampirized humans mating. That their genetics were altered by the vampirization process was of profound interest. That the merged genetics in me created an altogether new kind of being. It wasn't much of a childhood. More like a science experiment. I thought I could have endured that. You'd be surprised how much you could endure. And you've had no choice. May I? Oh, yeah. yeah. I hope you don't mind me saying this, Captain. But I find you very surprising. Telling us that the company issued an assignment. They didn't, did they? 
Well, they did send a communication telling us to sit tight in ready mode. Hmm. Well, we came together on this. It was a good idea. I wanted to see how far we'd go in the name of loyalty. Is that what you did before? Put yourself at risk in the name of loyalty? Something like that. I used to think that there was nothing more important than loyalty. But you don't think so anymore. The Merconium. The ship I was on. Was sent to establish a colony in the Cygna system. And there were several support ships. A troop carrier. When we went into hyperdrive, everything was normal. When we came out, the troop carrier turned on us. I don't know, the communication software was telling it that we were now hostile. So I, uh, I told Captain Perkins, I said, that with enough time, I can override their communications and we can reopen talks. He testified at your court martial that you issued an order to fire on the troop carrier. That he was incapacitated. That mission was Captain Perkins last. He was ill. If he'd been court-martialed instead of me... He would have become a non-person, no money, no pension, no health care benefits. You sacrificed everything for him. We had this agreement that he would stand up for me. And between his testimonies and his connections, the worst thing that would happen to me was a slight delay in my advancement. Except he buried you instead. He wrote a letter apologizing. <laughs> Except he didn't even sign it. For fear that I'd throw it back at him later. Even the apology was a stab in the back. You know, the thing is... I love that guy. I really did. Captain Churchill told us that with time we would come to appreciate you. He wasn't wrong. There is something that I want to do for you. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure I know what you mean. Everyone else is sleeping. I've had some rest myself. The only one who hasn't had a break is you. I've kicked back some. <laughs> it would be my pleasure to relax you. Quinta, is this? I mean, if I understand you when you say relax me, are you? I mean, not that it isn't. What, what exactly are you talking about? Sex. Okay. Um, not that I'm unappreciative, but uh, sex would be uh, inappropriate. Um, not to mention fatal. I mean, uh, unless I'm uh, forgetting my uh, vampire lore, or maybe it's just urban myth, but when a human and a vampire get together and the sexual bloodlust hits the vampire woman, does, doesn't she go all the black widow on the guy? <laughs> Absolutely. Is, is, is that what you're proposing? I'm proposing vampiric sex. It's tantric. There's no touching. It's all of you. I won't say I'm not curious. Still, I'm the captain. Oh, Quintana. Please don't do this. Oh. You don't have to do anything.
Something about sleeping at hyperspeed that makes me so hungry I could eat a dozen of these things. Oh, it tastes like chicken. Are you not eating? Hope everyone had a good rest. Some of us did. As far as I'm concerned, the sooner I lock and load, the better. What's over there? Estrogen, sir. Captain, the Hieronymus has reached the requested coordinate. Shall I declare battle stations? Oh, hell. The Predators. The battle cruisers. Vampiric. Except for that one, the Cosmosis. Maybe this wouldn't be happening if the captain were getting some rest instead of just getting some. All right, everybody, hold on. We're going for a ride. Half retro to 60. Let's rock! Get up! they'd be expecting is for us to turn. They're expecting us to run and keep running. Half retro to 60. Any sight of them? Do you see the vapor trail over there? Hieronymus, can we have an immediate radiation level of our environment? Radiation is 632 rontogens. That would be 220 times normal. What's up with that? Well, it means one of them got damaged keep it up with us, and they're leaking. Hieronymus, can we ascertain where the vapor is going? Acknowledged. Follow that tail to the line. Zoom in on the source. Magnification initiated. What do you think? Should we fall? Just check it. Stay close. Right in our blind spot, then we lose. You and me need to talk. I want to know what you think you saw. I wasn't having sex with Quintana. Give me a break. Oh, Quintana, that is amazing. Just like that, right there. OK, you know what? You got me. All right, I was having sex, and it was stunning. Spare me the details. Except I wasn't having sex with Quintana. I was having sex in my mind with my wife. Your wife, who died. Yeah. And if me taking a moment to relive my past is unacceptable to you, well, that's too damn bad. But if you're the kind of person with the sense I think you have, then you'll go to Quintana yourself and beg. Because you need it more than anyone.
What town did you know what planet this is? Since Earth finished mining Diaghilev 8, it's been abandoned. It's nothing but a sandpit now. Perfect place for an op space, if you ask me. Yeah, I mean, it's not like Cosmos is welcome back on Earth. Check in before we RV. Have fun storming the castle. How far is the mining colony from here? Quite a ways. I landed here because. Captain! Lock and load, people! Prepare for striking maneuvers! Oh, we should have drawn heading for you. Damn right I do! We gotta go, Rosa. Everything I freaking own. It'll be dark in an hour. We cannot be on the surface of this planet when that happens. Which way's the colony? 23 clicks, with mountain between us and it. Make it work. We'll never make it by the fall. If we don't, we're gonna be a snack. Let it die. Wonder why it seems like now when all of this is gone. We're left alone to come to our senses, how it breaks me down. How it breaks me down. Come on. Coming around. We gotta keep moving. They're getting close. Busting my hump, Captain. I'm well, tapped out.
Let him come. Rosa. I'm trying to help you. Thank you. Aren't we there yet? I don't know. My PDA's out of juice. Tell me we did not just run 15 miles in the wrong direction. According to the map, it's supposed to be right here. What? And now suddenly it's not? Not good. We can't give up. We can't. We're not giving up. Guys, come here. I think I found something. Give me a hand. Do we even know where this goes? Does it matter? That was too close. Yeah, well, at least it's warmer down here. Yeah, a couple of degrees sure makes a difference. What is it? Vampires. Where? Everywhere. Larry Square on my command. Ready? Hey! Excuse me. Captain Underwood, are you there? Captain Underwood? Kind of in the middle of something right now. I promise no one will hurt you or your crew if you come with me. Captain Underwood. Any thoughts? What other options do we have? What would Captain Churchill do? He'd hear what she had to say, and then he'd kill her. Sounds like a plan. Oh, a traitor. Of course you'd see it that way, Captain Underwood. Can I call you Damien? You can call me Captain Underwood. Well, if you really understood the universe, you wouldn't see it that way. How many human beings have you sentenced to death so far? I feel badly about the people that died, because they had no business being out there in the first place. Well, I'm sorry. I missed the day they decided to make you judge and jury. I have spent most of my professional life studying vampires so that we humans would know how to kill them. And the more I learned about them, the clearer it became that they have as much right to be here as we do. Right. Vampires good, humans bad. Do you even know what humans have done to this planet? In, in the process of strip mining its resources, we have totally wrecked its ecosystem. All of its indigenous life forms are either uh, mutated or, or infected or dead. It's the same all over the cosmos. <sighs> humans have turned tropical planets into trash cans, deserts into dumping grounds. Vampires are downright friendly by comparison. Where exactly are we going? Oh, you should have been dead a while ago. But you're not. I should tell you something. What if we hadn't found the air shaft up on the surface? You'd have come and got us? Yes, we would have. Fortunately, you did find it. So you and your friends, you brought us here for what? Second chance. Don't 
Don't look at me. It wasn't my idea. So whose idea was this? Think you'll go along? They don't get any more loyal. But where are his loyalties now? What's your point? I don't know. I just have a bad feeling about this. I was dead, all right. But not so dead that they couldn't infuse their essence into me. Merge their genome and mine, and let me tell you, dying was nothing by comparison. But, once you're on the other side, the benefits make it all worthwhile. What kind of benefits are we talking about? A car allowance, a per diem? How about immortality? Or power? Or community? Or for what? Actually ending up on the winning team. Ah. I think an argument can be said that that isn't true. Mugo's right, Damien. Human life is vastly outnumbered. There are vampiric life forms that you can't even imagine. Vampires should be the dominant force in the cosmos, but they're not because they just need to learn to organize themselves a little bit better. The Voorhees want to learn from us. They realize that there are certain human traits that are worth preserving. That's where you and I come in. Human ingenuity, for instance. Cultural assertiveness. These are traits that frustrate us. Partially because they allow you to flourish. And partially because, as a species, we don't have them. Now, there are brothers of mine who would rather just wipe you out. But I say no. Let us learn from you first. Then wipe you out. Well, I can't say you don't make it sound inviting. Ah. So my trip here... What was that, my audition? Yes, and you did surprisingly well. Well, I hope you don't expect me to be flattered by that, because I'm not. And as far as me teaching you things goes, well, you can kiss my assertiveness. Oh, Earth man, this is a gift I offer you. Will you accept it or not? means nothing to me. Damien, there's another way you can look at it. Allow yourself to be vampirized and save the others. Join us and the crew goes free. Refuse. Condemn them to what I'm sure will be a slow and painful death. They're your crew too. Work, my crew. Now they're my enemy. So am I. We should take some time and think about this. I don't this. need to. If you're gonna kill us anyway, you might as well just do it. I'm sorry you feel that way. Take them both outside. It's time we had a little entertainment. This is of no concern to you. I've heard it told that these human beings are capable of great loyalty. So, Captain Churchill, I think it's time we tested where your loyalties lie. I want you to kill the prisoner. And you're done. We're down. And kill the rest of his crew. Yuko, you said if we brought you Captain Underwood, you'd let the rest of his crew go. I said that. Well, I lied. And what if I defeat Captain Churchill? What if I kill him? Then will you let my crew go free? Oh, that would be quite interesting. This was about him, not the others. I insist you let them go. Oh, you do, do you? Yes, I do. It sickens me what you're doing here. It's barbaric and unnecessary. Fiona, don't do this. You want to learn from us? 
Try learning compassion. You want to instill loyalty in your comrades? Then show them that your leadership deserves it. The Vorhi are capable of greatness. You are capable of greatness. But not if you can't rid yourself of this inherent tendency towards cruelty. Please, Muko, I beg you. Show everyone here what you are truly capable of. You want to see what I'm capable of? <laughs> That's what I'm capable of. <laughs> Come, Doc. Now, if everybody's finished talking, let's see some blood. We need to go down on the mine shaft slowly, without drawing attention. You're making this harder than it has to be, Damien. Do yourself a favor! and has secured their release. You don't believe me? Go ask Muko. What the hell is going on here? You are to surrender your weapons to us. Why don't you come get them? That's what the captain wants. Give it to him. But hesitation and sentiment. I love you, Nick. Do it.
Now she's here. With this human's life in the balance. Ah, screw you. You know, I'm going out that door getting on my ship. Anyone tries to stop me. And this ugly friend of yours becomes hamburger. Ugly? You think I'm ugly? I want somebody to shoot this idiot right now! You know, the funny thing is, you're going to die anyway. <laughs> for you, Mukul. Drop dead. for corporate no questions like uh what the hell were you guys doing way over there and why weren't you on the assignment you're supposed to be on what i told them about the assignment that there wasn't one the hell do you take us for a bunch of morons she also told us what happened before on the meconium you think you're the only one capable of loyalty? No, of course not. Good. Then do us a favor. Have a little faith. You might as well. Because let me tell you, you're not getting rid of us that easy. Did the corporate say anything else? No. Just come on home and... Pick up your new ship? Yeah, because the other one got wrecked. <laughs> well, what the hell? Looks like we're gonna be stuck together for a while, huh? Anyone wanna join me in the mess? You're buying. Like I had a choice. So, Quintana, the sex thing you do, does it have to be a memory or could it be something more? In the present. What do you have in mind? Hey, whatever turns you on. Wow, Quintana, you are good for a bloodsucker.